So I've been involved in language literacy and communication from Strand 2. Uh, came in in January 2017 and straight away it had a really, really big impact. For example, the meetings were organised in a way whereby we started thinking very carefully about what do we want learners to look like, what do we want learners to be able to do. And then I tried to replicate those meetings in my own school environment with Head of English, Head of Welsh, Head of MFL. And what we found was that we came to very similar answers in my school base and in the national group we were working on. And what was really nice then was at school we were able to sort of turn that over a little bit quicker because we were working in a smaller group and we've used it to develop a kind of mini curriculum in year seven already which is what we hope the whole curriculum will look like across the area of learning. The key features um, to the approach, the, the group work, has been just that really, how we've all worked together and the different speakers that have come in and, and how they've supported us. We've analysed national curricula and gone through that critically, the existing curriculum, the literacy and numeracy framework we've gone through critically, international curricula we've gone through and really drawn what we thought was useful from current practice uh, locally and internationally. So we've had a couple of external speakers and external agencies who have come in and have really helped us. Um, we had work with Cognitive Acceleration, which was uh, an approach which has happened in schools previously that really, really supports some of the way we want to go with language development. It supports the idea that speaking and thinking about issues enhances deep learning, which then goes on to improve reading and writing. The scope and rationale that we've tried to work on is that we are going to try and develop a continuum of language learning that describes learning in language from novice through to expert, regardless of the language that it's being applied to. There have been lots of opportunities and lots of elements where people have, have come in and they've, they've tested us and they've challenged us on what we're doing. Um, so for example, we've had Welsh Government in, we've had Professor Donaldson himself come into the group and he's been working with us and asking us questions. Estin have come in, um, challenging us not, not to the extent of trying to influence the direction we're going in, but just making sure that we have got a clear rationale behind the decisions we're making. The most productive part of the process for me personally has been the research that we've done in our own school environments and having the time and the need to actually read and revise pedagogy and the theories behind teaching and learning, which we don't get to do enough as teachers. And the opportunity, opportunity to actually look at what we're doing in the classroom away from the pressure of external measures and external exams and think does it work from a teaching and learning perspective, does it make sense? Next steps are definitely critical evaluation and testing in evaluating the impact.